All right. Uh, now, in this uh, particular theorem six, we are trying to prove that an exterior angle, right? An exterior angle of our cyclic quadrilateral is going to be in, uh, is going to be equals to the what? Is going to be equal to the interior opposite angle. So basically, we are trying to prove that the outside angle here is going to be equal to that particular angle, right? Now, how are we then going to go about improving that? We are going to start here. Right now, in theorem five, we have you know we have came to a mutual agreement that our angle B, right, angle B plus your what plus your angle D is going to be equal to what they are going to be equal to one hundred and eighty degrees. Why is going to be that? This is going to be opposite our uh, angles of your what of your cyclic quad, right? Cyclic quad. Why are we saying that? Remember. The opposite angle of your cyclic quad, which means this angle and this angle are going to be equal, right? That's theorem number uh, five, right? So now what is it that you are going to do? No. So for an example, if let's say I make my B to be the subject of the formula, can you see that my angle B therefore is going to be equal to 180 degrees subtract your angle D, right? Out again. Yes, that's going to be that. Now let's say we then continue here. What is it that I want you to also take note of? Can you see that in here, uh, my angle ADE, my angle ADE plus my what? Plus my angle D here is going to be equal to 108 degrees, right? These two triangles here are going to be equal to 108 degrees. Why? These are going to be angles, right? Angles on a straight line. How to get? Can you see that these are going to be your angles on a straight line? So if these are going to be your angles on a straight line, what is it that you can do? Let's say you make your angle ADE to be the subject of the formula. Can you see that your angle ADE is going to be close to 108 degrees? Subtract your angle D, right? Now, I want you to take uh, note of this. Can you see that uh, angle B, we said it's 108 degrees, subtract your what? Your D. While we said also your angle ATE is 180 degrees subtract D. So now we can then conclude that therefore our angle what? Our angle ADE. Our angle ADE is going to be cause what? Is going to be cause to our angle what? Our angle B, right? Because what is happening? Can you see that both of them are equals 180 degrees subtract D? Out again. So then now in that then you can... Uh, conclude that your angle ADE is equal to what is equal to B. This is going to what this is going to be now your exterior angle of your what of your cyclic quad, uh, of your cyclic quad, right? So your exterior angle of your cyclic quad is going to be equal to the interior opposite angle. How to get? So basically, this is how we go about when we are proving our theorem number six. Once again, hopefully this makes sense to you and thank you very much.